Can you believe this place? It's unreal to me. And guess what? It's fresh in the urbex scene. So we're gonna be one of the very first to explore and document this incredible Japanese billionaire's home. We have a handmade Japanese samurai doll. Oh yeah, this is the only room that looks very ransacked. As if they were searching for something. Over here we have a letter in Japanese. So yeah, my translation didn't say fled, but yours did. One thing that's really strange is that throughout this exploration, we have not seen one single photo at all, except everything is still left behind here, but no pictures. I feel like they ran away with just their photos. So we just made it inside this incredible Japanese billionaire's mansion. I cannot believe we're exploring this today. I was not expecting this at all. You know, I thought this would be an Italian mansion, but I love how there's Japanese stuff inside. Japan is my favorite country. So this is just incredible what we're exploring today. And right now we're here in the main hall and here's the main stairway. Can you believe this place? It's unreal to me. And guess what? It's fresh in the urbex scene. So we're gonna be one of the very first to explore and document this incredible Japanese billionaire's home. I love this. Anyway, here's a rundown on the history on the place. This abandoned mansion was once owned by a very wealthy Japanese woman that came from an influential family in Japan. Her story is a mystery, but throughout the home, you can find hints and letters describing her life. During the 90s, she met the love of her life on one of her business trips to Italy. It was a French guy, and at the time she was already married. When she arrived back to Japan, the relationship with her husband wasn't so great, and they ended up getting a divorce. When confronting to her parents about her new lover, her family disapproved her decision. She disobeyed, and soon after she fled Japan to Italy in secret with her two kids and reunited with her love, and in 1995 they got married. The same year she bought a mansion, and they lived happily. Behind closed doors though, she had troubles with her ex-husband and her very powerful family. Her location was eventually found out in the early 2000s, and when this happened, she fled again with her husband and kids, leaving everything behind and only taking her precious pictures. That's all I know so far, but throughout this exploration, we're going to be finding more things because everything is left in here, and maybe it can give us a clue of what this family could have been living in here. All right, before the adventure begins, I want you guys to smash the like button and keep up with the Italy series. All right, let's go. So we're gonna be returning back here to the main stair because of course we're gonna have to go upstairs from here. I just can't stop looking at it. We should check out the rooms now. Oh my gosh, guys. I guess this was some sort of dining room. So we just made it inside into one of the dining rooms. It's really small, but very cozy. Still have some things inside here and this beautiful golden cabinet. These look like Christmas bells. What the, I'm not sure what this could be. It opens though. Hmm. I think this was used to put some incense in. Or you know those incense sticks? But it's completely empty. This cabinet is definitely worth something. It looks French. Look at the hand painting on this. It's a shame you can see a little bit of the cracks now. It's kind of deteriorating. Even these chairs have a French design. But I really love the white and blue color on it. Imagine having a nice cup of tea in the morning and having breakfast in this corner with the windows open, the sun shining through. 
Now the table is quite simple. It's not so big. Looks like you can seat six people. This is a nice antique wooden drawer. And look at that painting. It looks like French tapestry. Not sure what these yellow boxes are holding. Could be tea bags. Oh, look. I think this is some sort of wallet. This place has been abandoned for a while. You can tell by all this rubble on the floor. It's coming straight from the ceiling over here. I think it's asbestos and this is a beautiful crystal chandelier that they had looks to be from the 20th century okay let's get out of here oh yeah even the handles have a french style to it okay it's a tight squeeze you got the carpet kind of blocking it off now wow it even still has the keys so we just entered a hallway we have some Japanese signs framed to the wall here. I'm gonna translate it. Mm, damn. I think the signal is so bad that's having trouble translate. The one above it says gas. This one says Lixen. I don't think Google Translate is getting it right. Well, sorry guys, the app is doing terrible, but if you happen to translate it, leave it down in the comments below. So it looks like we're going inside the kitchen. It's not so modern. So you got some postcards, some letters. This one's in Japanese. The cups and kitchen utensils are all here. Ew, the refrigerator smells really bad. This was like a little dining area. Very sad state to see though, in this hallway. We have the walls getting all moldy. And there's just so much rubble on the floor now from the ceiling decaying. These look like old paintings done by the family. Probably the kids. This has a year on it, 1995. It's hard to tell what these pieces of artwork look like. I'm not sure if it's meant to look like that or it's just been rotting. Over here will lead down to the basement floor. And this door probably goes back to the main stairway. Yep. I kind of want to check out the basement later on. They definitely had kids. Look how tiny these seats are. They're meant for like six year olds. There's some of their jackets hanged up here and their hats. It's like the family fled. Crazy how everything is just left behind in here. And here's the bathroom. Love the glass ceiling. Keeps the bathroom nice and lit. Oh, it smells really bad in here though. I think someone could have used it. Whoa. I and mean, the bars of soap are still here. In a distance, kind of looks like the living room. This is so insane. is just too unreal. This is one of the best mansions I've ever explored in a while. Hope you guys have been enjoying this video so far. If you have, definitely smash the like button, guys. And also, I want you guys to leave as many comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking about this beautiful home. Porcelain figurines. This one's creepy. Its eyes are red. We got some fake flowers here. Not sure why this, this sofa is flipped over. But look at all the books. There's so many of them. They look good as new. And we're also seeing some Japanese books right there. 
living room is incredible. Love the tall ceilings. It's pretty standard here in Italian mansions. Here's a close up of the TV. It's from Samsung. We have like some VHS player and DVD player. All the movies that they watch are right in here still. These aren't even labeled. Who knows? These could be like recordings of like family trips or events. Everything that I've documented in my life since I started my YouTube career, I've saved on my hard drives and computer. And I would be so sad if I were to lose them all because I just want to look back one day. It feels good to collect your memories and you know, video record all those important moments in your life. And now it's just here left abandoned. We have a handmade Japanese samurai doll or it could be an emperor. Here's another doll. It looks more like European style. So on the ceiling you have these plastering going all around. It's a very intricate design. And geez, I love the wallpaper here. It's actually made of silk. Makes it hard to peel off or crack. It's a nice countertop. And here's the fireplace. The family definitely had a lot of money. I believe it's some sort of orange or red marble. And this beautiful mirror still stands here. It's not just an ordinary mirror, but it's a gilt mirror. And by the looks of it, I think it's either French or Italian style from the 19th century. Oh, I thought this was like a decoration, but it's actually a trophy. Osio Sopra, 9576. Is this from 1976? the words this could be a trophy for opera singing this looks like to be a 19th century commode and there's some bronze on it as well with a hand painted painting on it seeing all these furnitures makes me so sad that it's just left behind like this. I just realized there's a painting right above this door. So stunning. Does this open? Ugh. This leads back to the main stairway. And I think it's time we head upstairs. But first, let's take a closer look down here in the main hall. There's some stuff I didn't even get a close up for you guys. Like, look at this. It's a beautiful bronze statue of an angel riding some sort of dragon. Looks like someone's reading glasses. We have a beautiful tapestry again. Looks like a, looks like a bunch of farmers. Only thing is their children. Wow, we got this little cabinet over here. Very Japanese. Wow, so I love how this cabinet is like very European, but inside you'll find some things from Japan. We have like these miniature clay dolls. They kind of remind me of the things that you get in York, in the UK. You know, the ghost figurines. Let me know in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. And also, help me translate this too. Translate this for me and post it in the comments. And guess what? We also have some incense. 
know, I feel like they could have had some sort of sanctuary in here where they would pray. Now that I see this, I mean, this could be it right here, but it doesn't really look like it's meant for praying. We have some cherry blossom flowers right here, typical in Japan. I'm not sure what they would use this for. It's for Zen meditation. Yeah. I want to keep ringing it, but we'll probably get the whole entire town over here. Wow, it's very subtle. <laughs> This is by far my favorite stairway I've seen in a long time while exploring. I mean, look at the carving on this thing. The rail is just so crazy. Start off with this lion. You got the red carpets. Oh my gosh. They put such tiny attention to detail. Looks like we got something posted here on the wall. I think is this is like a picture of the front gate. You have some of the plaster molding right here. Anyway, here's a close up of the wallpaper they were using. It's also made of silk, just like the other room. making our way upstairs. I guess this is the last floor. Wow, they kept a grand piano up here. And look at the stained glass windows. This home is just absolutely amazing. I'm always getting blown away. Wow, these, this piano doesn't seem to be working anymore. The keys are rock solid. It's quite strange considering I've seen many abandoned pianos and the keys have usually worked. A lot of things from the ceiling have fallen down too. Gosh, it was so beautiful. Some of the tiles are right here. You can actually open these windows too. We have all kinds of photos framed on the wall. Some of these are handwritten signatures. I'm guessing they were photos taken by the family. Trips that they went to. bedrooms wrapping around. I can see stairs right there in the corner. So I guess there's another floor. Let's check out this bedroom. Wow. We got dolls and toys everywhere. This must be the kids room. And there's another hallway. Probably leads to another bedroom. Check this out. Definitely a little girl's room. By the looks of it, she was probably very spoiled. Looks like a room meant for a princess. Looks like a Christmas letter. Let's see if I can translate it. to translate it. It's in English. What the heck? It says Happy Holidays, Carola. This is another opportunity to wish you a Merry Christmas. 
you guys can read this letter to yourself. You just have to pause the screen. Because I couldn't really read the handwriting. I just realized there's a photo underneath this doll. It's a, a girl riding a horse. This could be the daughter that stayed in this room, but she seems a little bit too big for this room. I mean, it could be her room. It seems like the person loved horses. Some more dolls right here. And guess what? The clothes are still in the closets. Let's go down this hall. We got some more pictures framed on the walls. These ones are pretty moldy and destroyed. Oh, it just leads down to a bathroom. Oh, it's a beautiful bathtub. It's made of green marble. There's some black mold in here. I'm not even gonna step inside. I can see on the counter, we still have the toothbrush and some nail polish. Here's another bedroom. Looks to be another kid's room. It's much bigger. Someone with these up. Those don't even look like incense. They just look like sticks. We have some more of those clay looking dolls. I think that's a controller for a remote control car. I used to love those as a kid. Hey, we got the Snoopy pillow. So by the looks of it, this family also knew English, Italian, and Japanese. Seems like they were pretty well cultured. Like Snoopy is an American show. Anyway, look at this doll. I don't like it at all. It's not even cute. Why does it have such a big head? Wow, check out this TV. I've never even seen this brand before. There's uh, some taxidermy on top of it. Looks to be a duck. This bedroom is so cute. Gives me a very old vibe. Like somewhere in the 80s. So guys, this is actually a very vintage Japanese musical doll. I've seen this in Japan before. Every bedroom so far has some religious wall art mountain on top of the bed. Wow, I like this one a lot. And here are some more small miniature things. Looks to be some clowns. So we can also cut across to another bedroom from here. But I think we'll go from the hallway Wow, this room is a mess. Looks like a tornado's been inside here. I think it was a bedroom. Looks like it's more for lounging. We have some closets filled with clothes. Door can also lead out to the balcony. But I don't think we should try it. In front of us is like many houses and neighbors. But yeah, this is the only room that looks very ransacked, as if they were searching for something. Wow, the clothes look pretty fresh and new. 
Definitely like late 90s style of clothes. Look at the track jacket. The track jacket just screams 90s. I would know because I do love fashion a lot. And I can tell which year some outfits are from. But I love the cabinets. Looks like they've been painted. We can also cut to the next room from here. But I just love going through the hall instead. Wow. I think this is the master bedroom. They kind of use it as a dressing table too. It's all painted. I gotta admit, the family in this mansion had some really great taste in furniture. Yeah, I love the furniture in this room. Look at that design, it's really unique. Looks really comfy. And it's not even in bad shape. I just realized the flower wallpaper here is very beautiful. It's only on this side. Anyway, this just leads to the other room we were just at. Now let's take a look at this bed over here. It's not that crazy looking. The mattress doesn't look comfy at all, but the bed frame is what makes it very special. Looks to be a mid-century modern Italian neoclassical style. It's worth a good amount. It even has some hand-painted painting on here. That's how you can tell it's very valuable. Wow, oh, I love the look of this chandelier. I like how the bulbs have like this flower shape and design on it. Let's see what's in this closet. Oh my gosh, there's so much black mold inside. Closing that back up. I want to take a picture of this room without the door open. And over here we have a Japanese magazine. It's from 2006, I think. Over here we have a letter in Japanese. Let's get the translator going. Anyway, this might hold some important information about this place, which... So the letter is from July 24, 1995. It's from a girl named Solioni. Tokyo was finally declared open today. The temperature has risen to 34 degrees, and it's really hot. I live in Tokyo. It can get very hot during the summer. It's unbearable. The person says, By the way, the other day I was very rude to suddenly send you a young letter. I discussed this with Mr. Moto. But in the end, as a result of consulting with Giovanni's wife, with her mother, even if I borrowed a bridal gown, there were no wigs or other items. It was difficult to arrange for the kimono. So I decided to wear a furisod. I'm not sure what that could be. I know what a kimono is. It's like a Japanese dress. I'm sorry to bother you, but in the end, I didn't bother you. But at the kimono show, I think that Giovanni also remembered the memories he borrowed. Almost 10 years have passed since I first took my four-year-old and one-year-old children to Italy. I don't think I'm old at all, but when I think about it, I was just in my 30s, but I'm already in my 40s. It's early. However, the experience of living in Italy in my early 30s is likely to remain as a very good memory of my life. Last Saturday, by chance, I remembered when Rai came for an interview with director Takahata of an anime studio called Studio Ghibli. Oh my gosh. Studio Ghibli is one of my favorite animation studios ever. It is said that Takahata Sari's 20-year-old work, Hive, is now very popular in Italy. Also, there is a famous piece about two children at the time of war called The Grave of the War. Oh, I think the translation means Grave of Fireflies. And I've seen this movie. Oh my gosh. This interview is one of the 50th anniversary Japan interviews and will be broadcasted on August 5th. If you have time, please try to become one. I wrote some ramblings, but that's the case for the bridal dress, which caused a lot of trouble. 
I apologize for disturbing you. I always say whatever I want when I want, but I also want to go to Milan. I look forward to meeting you at that time. Well then, until I contact you, please take care of yourself in the coming heat and have a good vacation. Have a good time. Now, I read that kind of too fast. Even I don't really fully understand what was going on. Seems like he was talking about a bunch of things. We're all reading the letter right now. So yeah, my translation didn't say fled, but yours did. What did yours say? It just said like she brought her two kids here when she was in yeah, her 30s. Was did you say it earlier? Yeah, you, you told me fled. I'm going to show you on my yeah. camera. It says yeah. fled. 100% of the cool Yeah, no, I believe you, bro. A lot of these translations, though, you know, they yeah. don't really translate accurately. Yeah. Yeah. But, dude, she said she knows someone that did an interview for Studio Ghibli. Yeah, this woman has relationships so with Studio Ghibli. That's, so That's amazing. Italian and Japanese in yeah. this house. Mm -hmm. Like half and half, pretty much. Yeah. But I wonder, like, what really happened to the family. Yeah, because it looks like they just got up and left because all the keys... Everything is just All left the keys behind. are still in the doors. Yeah. It makes no sense. It doesn't. They said she fled, so what was she fleeing no, from? No, she fled Japan to here. Yeah, but what was she fleeing from? Did they find her here? Is that why they all left? Oh. That's what I'm thinking. You know, could, it could be. be. It could be like a mafia thing. Who knows? Yeah, that's a possibility. Yeah, they could have found out that she came here and then she fled from here. Yeah, once they knew where she lived. Mm -hmm. Or she Maybe she escaped. Again, I don't think she's dead. Yeah, this, this no. This was abandoned since, what, she came here in 1995, right? Something like that. Yeah, so... But a lot of the things here are from the early 2000s. Mm, so They're yeah. nothing brand new. So she's not... There's no way she probably passed away. No, but I think she, they left this home around like the early 2000s, like 2005. It's crazy though. Why would you flee this beautiful home yeah, and just leave crazy. everything behind? Even the outside stunning. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Yo, these are one of the fancy pens. Very Like fancy the tip pens. ones. God. Oh my. It's, oh, a, it's uh, a point one? I don't know. It's broken inside. It oh no. Like yeah. Maybe not worth a lot then. Yeah, but it looks fancy. I wonder if these phones still work. No. I don't think this place has any power. And here's the bathroom. I like the green color a lot. Was someone sleeping on the tub? I'm not sure if I like how this tub looks. I hate how it's like in this little cave. Like, what if you stand up and hit your head? If I were to own this place, I would totally redo the bathroom over here. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. This is like the corner the mansion like the tower area and they turn it into a shower I love this you can even open the windows imagine taking a shower in here they had a pipe where the water would come straight down too <laughs> well I would keep this this one's great okay so we have to go up these stairs. Maybe it'll lead to another floor with bedrooms. Or might even go to the attic. Oh my gosh, we still have more rooms to see. Yes, there's another upstairs room too. But I think it leads up to the attic. Now this floor has a lot of Japanese things in it. Except for this bedroom. Looks to be very European. It's quite small. Wow. Oh, it's an upstairs living room. She 
Jeez, you can have a whole family living on the third floor. It's a pretty cool samurai artwork. Come to think of it though, this room is now looking more like an office. I think this room is located in one of those tower looking things. so bright in here. I like how the windows are kind of blurred out. You get a little bit of extra privacy. Yeah, it's really bright. wraps around into a bedroom. Oh, it's a very beautiful Japanese painting. Heck, I feel like we can sleep here for the night. The beds look pretty clean. This is very typical in Japan. These folding screens. I always see this in like a spa place. Here's a bathroom. So I got the rolls of toilet paper. So this goes back in this hallway. We didn't check the middle room though. We got two single beds. really vintage TV that we have here. You know, I was thinking there's gonna be a samurai sword in this home. Usually Japanese families always keep samurai swords, but there's none. Yo, Dave, have you been up there? Is it just the attic? You take a look, Steve. Yeah? Ready? It was a bit sketchy up there, didn't it? Oh, yeah. It's really destroyed. No, it looks safe. Did you walk around up here? No. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I want to either. You can get to the rooftop from here. I think sometimes they've got to draw that line. Yeah, for sure. As much as you know we go up there. Yeah. It just looks a bit unstable. Though. Looks really dusty too. Right, we're heading down to the basement. Looks like your typical basement. Even the jackets are hanged up here. We got some foosball. Gotta love some foosball. We have a ping pong table right over there. The, the garage door is made of stained glass. That's pretty unique. It's 
It's another little dining area. You got some more Japanese symbols. Oh, I think down here would be like a little mini bar. I can see the alcohol. Look at that, we still got a bottle of wine left unopened. And some sake too. Oh, here's a wine cellar. There's hundreds of wine in here. Every bottle is still filled. Looks like this was the laundry room. You have the tank of water. Look at that, we still have the shoes and boots down here. Unreal. Here are some pictures. But I don't think they're of the family. One thing, one thing that's really strange is that throughout this exploration, we have not seen one single photo at all, except everything is still left behind here. Like the furniture and the items they had, but no pictures. It's a little bit strange to me. I feel like they ran away with just their photos. So we're heading outside. We have to kind of escape, but this is how it looks like from the backyard. I'm sure you've seen the drone shots and know how it's like, but this is how it looks like and feels in person, just standing here. So this area is also part of their backyard. Look at this. They have their own little backyard table. Alright everyone, thank you so much for making it to the very end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it a lot. Definitely one of my favorite abandoned mansions I've ever explored in Europe. And the fact that a Japanese family used to own it makes it all the better because I just love Japan so much. It definitely made me want to go back to Japan, which by the way, we'll probably be going there soon. But this is definitely one of the most mysterious homes that I've ever explored. I want to know where they are right now and what they're doing. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. But anyway guys, yeah, I'm wrapping it up. I'm back home by the way. Now that I'm back in America, I do plan to explore and film a lot of documentaries here. And speaking of which, I have a flight to catch in the next couple hours. Anyway guys, I restocked the Wander hoodies. Go and cop them. We have a lot in stock right now for the winter season. So be sure to shop freemaxwander.com and get yourself a Wander hoodie. But yeah, thank you so much yet again. And until next time, don't forget to live a life of freedom and water. Peace and thanks for watching.